Bloody Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Kakiguri chapters 106.5 through 108. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, um, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm, and it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little um, gambling kitty who's somewhere around here, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we could keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our cash shop and PayPal. Links are in the description box below, as well as the link to our Patreon where we are doing our anime live reaction content, because... Unlike YouTube, where we constantly have to worry about getting a copyright strike for showing any um, content on the screen, well, Patreon, we don't have to worry about that. So we can have our full setup of the anime and manga side by side and even have audio, which has really helped us uh, bust a botch localization or two. And the more subscribers and um, views we get over there, the more content we'll cover too. And there is a stacked fall anime season on the horizon so please check out our patreon links in the description box below so man it's been a long time since i covered kakiguri and the last time i did it was not looking good for soko no like soko uh, just like like me lost everything oh my god she lost everything everything like this month is like the fifth year anniversary of when I lost everything but man now Yumiko is going to visit her so let's get to this chapter see what's in store for us today god I've missed this art oh my god oh she's in a university hospital and this chapter is titled um the start of the girl part two big sis um, boy, it's been forever. I hope you, you've been doing... Ooh, Soko is broken. Ooh. Big sis? I hate to break it to you like this, Yumiko-chan, but Soko's locked up in her own little shell now. Um, she constantly sought out her little sister. Oh, this heart. Oh, my God, this heart. Um, and for that, she needed money. She devoted herself heart and soul to gambling. She didn't even enjoy her mood swinging based on the results. This is gorgeous. Um, I'm sure it must have tired her out, um, something awful, uh, but uh, now she ain't even responding to you, huh, Yumiko-chan? Guess it's pretty clear now. Soko's heart is dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. And, you know, you're pretty smart, right, Yumiko-chan? You know it. It's all your fault that Soka wound up like this. Oh, this background. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? The thing is, there's two series that do this beautifully in terms of, like, fully utilizing not just the panel, but, like, the background of the page. Like, utilize the page perfectly. It's Kakiguri and Kono Oto Tamer. Both of those series, if you're not reading Kono Oto Tamer, why? Oh my god, Kono Oto Tamer is just pure art. But man, like this background here where you're seeing the hands like this with the water in the background. Oh, gorgeous. If you didn't throw yourself into gambling, none of this would have happened. You willingly allowed this result to happen, you know. For the sake of your own pleasure, you willingly dragged everyone around you in. That's where your essence lies, don't it? So... How should, wait, so how should I live my life then? Well, how do you think? Um, you gotta be Yumiko Jabami all the way. It'd be your tribute to Soko and Michael, too. Most of all, that's what you want in life, ain't it? Well, yeah, think about it. Like, Soko wants Yumiko to live her life. She does. But, Soko, but not the way she wants it. No, just how... Yumiko wants it, but you gotta want- I'm hoping that Yumiko gonna realize she's being used and she's not gonna like that. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm glad she's questioning this, but I- oh god, seeing you- uh, seeing Soko's image in Yumiko's eyes- <gasps> God, it's beautiful! <laughs> well, that's fine, cause give it time and soon you'll be smiling from the bottom of your heart. 
And now we're back to the modern day. We're seeing Yumiko visiting Soko. And she's making paper cranes out of, um, or making money cranes. Here you go. Hope you've been doing, you're do oh my god. Hope you've, um, you've been doing well. I met Auntie the other day. It's been way too long. She's a lot thinner. Oh, so, so Auntie's still alive. She's a lot thinner than she used to be, but I was glad to see she was doing fine. She visits, visits you as well, doesn't she? We shared a few old memories, too. My own memories, Hazy, since I was little, but still, I'm pretty clear on one thing. You were giggling that entire time for my sake, weren't you? This thing you never really enjoyed at all, and you kept on doing it for me, frantically putting everything you had into it. God, this paneling is everything. And no matter how that turned out, I am who I am uh, today, thanks to that will of yours. So, thank you, big sis. Aww. Well, I better go back soon. Hayako Academy is full of some abnormal, real abnormal people. Some I become friends with, and some I don't want um, to come too near. But in the uh, time I've spent with all these people at school, I've experienced nothing but the most unimaginable things. And I know it's not exactly what you pictured for me, Big Sis, but... Oh, I love this page. We're, we're seeing all of Yumiko's memories. Oh, my God. I'm so happy right now. What a great way to end this flashback arc. But damn, so now we're in, um, we're in the next arc. And I, I'm not sure, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the final arc. But God, this, oh, this color page, beautiful. I, I raised 10 chips and this poker game, uh, chips are with 10,000, worth 10,000 yen. Or it says our wit 10,000 yen, but I think it's supposed to be worth. I call. This is a lot of money, but more importantly, the bigger problem is that my life is on the line here. I could do it with this hand. I can't show down. I've, um, I've got a full house. Ha Mary! Ha ha! Too bad. Thank you for the great game. Oh, the reverse negative contrast. A royal flush? Well, I've been through quite a day, uh, quite a lot today, but keep your spirits up, K Fido. And from that day forward, I was no longer considered a person. Um, and this chapter is titled, uh, The Dream Come True Gal. Oh, tro it's a gal stuff, girl. The Dream uh, Come True Girl, but God, this color spread. Namora, my God, this color spread is just beautiful. And from that day forward, I was no longer considered a person. Those days are firmly in the past. Join us in the Fido Mittens Mutual Aid Society, and there's nothing to fear about becoming a house pet. We'll promptly lend you the million yen needed to cover your student council payment. If you value your value our cause, please join us and let's get rid of house pets forever. The revolution! Wow, what a great performance. You could become an actor, Mary Song. Stop it, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Um, this Final Mittens Mutual Aid Society is such a great system. I'm glad we could help out like this. So now we're seeing, like, remember what we saw um, prior to the flashback arc. Like, the system has truly been abolished. You're the one who put up that, um, put me up to that video, Suzu. Um, uh, just dragging me in like that. Well, um, I thought you, I thought having you would make um, it more realistic, so I told me. Oh, I just had to agree with, didn't I? But you were, uh, were real good too, Suzui san. You're a natural born Fido. Uh -huh. The student council presidential election is over. After the election, Karai Momobami remained the council president, but. Ooh, so here's the aftermath. The events surrounding the election brought real palpable change to Hayako Academy. Something a simple look around uh, could tell you. There were no longer any house pets. With a single vote going for 100 million yen, a lot of house pets paid off their debt and shed their stigma. And with this vast amount of money flowing to the entire student body, the house pet system based on structural discrimination against the penniless essentially fell apart. I was tormented for so long by this system that that was true for Satomi too, as well as everyone else. But Yumiko took the house pet system that so many students suffered under and smashed the whole thing to pieces. Yeah, that was so awesome. Yumiko, I tell you, um, so uh, now that I've seen uh, your acting chops, let's go and have a gamble. You haven't changed, huh? Sweet, I'm going to get you today. That's you out there, isn't it? Come on in, Sayaka. Ooh, this will be interesting. I'm not resentful at all. You were simply trying to help me. In fact, I'm thankful for that. Besides, I told you, I'm fine being the emperor with no clothes. Woo! The 
The metaphorical art, yes. Mm. Ooh, she not happy with it, though. These papers, they need your approval. I'll just place them here. Sh chicken shit. Hey, sorry I'm gonna invite myself in. Long time no see, huh, Kirari? Bruh. Dude, I love this outfit. I love this crop top. This crop top is hot. I don't know about the cover. I don't know. Or, I don't know about, um... I actually like the pants. I don't know about the jacket. The jacket, well, it's a kimono style kind of jacket. So it's like, meh. I kind of wish there was a little, here's the thing with the jacket, okay? I wish there was a little bit more volume to it. I know it's supposed to be casual, but I just wish there was a little bit more volume to it to like give a little bit more proportion. That's my only beef with it. Because we're getting Yakuza realness here. Give me more Yakuza realness. But everything else I like with this outfit. I kind of wish there, part of me is like, I kind of wish there was a little bit of pattern going on in the pant to like give it a little more flow. But because, I, but again, because there is the, uh, the pant is so plain. It's like, that's kind of why I wish the kimono style um, cover up was a little bit more, uh, more camp. That's the wording I was looking for. More camp, bigger. Just a little bit more flashier. There we go. Ha. Um, you were the last person I ever expected to come here. I like the length of it, though. The length is great. I just wish there was just a teeny bit more volume. Um, are you trying to make, uh, take the Momobami family now? Whoa, whoa. Don't get the wrong idea. Um, I'm trying to uh, work for the Momobamis, you know. And I'm just an intermediary sort of thing. There's no need to act like nothing, uh, nothing's amiss, uh, Karari Momobami, as I think you're fully aware. The money that you sank into the student council presidential election amount to 300 billion yen. A son that not even you, Karari Momobami, um, chief of your family could take responsibility for. Oh, she knows. All right, so, uh, so then, what will you do about it? Well, ain't nobody want to fight right, uh, fight here, right? So listen, as an intermediary, I've gone ahead and written a settlement offer for you. Just hear this out, all right? Provision one. Whoa, what? Karari Momobami must die. A letter? Yes. At long last, it's here. Huh? What? What letter and from who? <laughs> it's an invite from the council president. Um, you mean, it doesn't say what it's for, but I know this is after all, um, uh, this after all is why, why I had her do away with all her attachments for me. This, oh, the inside of this eye. Finally, I can gamble with the council president. Finally! We have been waiting for an eternity for this. Um, I was mentally prepared for this, of course. This is exactly what Yumiko has longed for. But still, I can't help but be afraid. This game between Yumiko Jabami and the president will, will happen? What? What? No! Welcome, Yumiko Jabami. Rika? Um, where's the student council president? I believe I was called over here by her. Yeah, uh, so were all of us. Uh, wait, yeah, so were all of us, Yumiko-chan. What? We're here because Kafari sent an invitation to each of us. Um, what for, though? That I don't know, but Rika, I'm sure that you do, uh, you do, don't you? With this council election behind us, after a long winding route, Kafari Momobami was re-elected as council president. Um, as part of the election process, the current members of the council were disbanded. They continued with their council duties throughout the election, but now that the president has been elected, a new stu student council will need to be formed. Huh? You mean- well, What? Yes, the seven people who received invitation letters from Karari are now members of the new student council! Whoa. Oh, here we go. Your posts are as follows. The new vice president is me, Rarika Momobami. The new treasurer is Kayade uh, Minuta. Okay, good. So we got those. Those are still the same. The new general secretary is uh, Toronto Totobami. Karari, you faint! <laughs> the election committee... Ha I'm, I'm fine with Toronto being uh, general secretary. Actually, that don't surprise me. The election committee head is uh, Runa um, Yamatsuki. Uh, Roger, uh, just remember, I'm 100% neutral. That makes sense to me. The new... Ah, this makes so much sense with my fantasy. The new head of public relations is Rin Obami. Uh, Rin being the head of public relations makes sense too. 
Um, oh, the head of the uh, Fido Mittens Mutual Aid Association is Karen Mosu. Huh? And finally, our last member with no duty assigned is Yumiko Jabami. Yumiko, what? What? Is Yumiko Jabami? What? These are the seven members of the new student council as personally named by Karari. But what is Yumiko doing? No way. Like, there's a lot I want to say about this, but Yumiko's in the uh, council now? The Academy's <laughs> doomed, isn't it? Huh? I mean, may I ask why? Huh? I mean, us and the president, we won't just join hands and run the school together, will we? For what purpose did she pick these seven people? Woo! Karate Mobile Body has been abducted! It is up to us to get her back! Yes! Oh, and I love this tile page, too. This is beautiful. But, dude, so this is the team that's going to uh, rescue um, rescue Karari? Okay. I love it. You know what this gives, in a way? Um, It's uh, uh, very Kaguya-sama love is war when Kaguya was abducted. All right, let's get, get with this chapter here. Uh, the name of the game is Bozu Makuri using a um how you could wait using a um Haikuna Nishu deck. Yeah. Uh draw a card with a man on it and um it's added to your hand. If it's a monk, you lose your hand. Um if a princess, uh you uh take all the discards. Okay, my only issue with this, and I'm hoping this is gonna be the case, I really hope Suzu doesn't go on this mission. I don't even understand why he's there in the first place. Like, part of me is kind of confused why Mary was there too, to an extent. Like, it should have just been Yumiko there in the room. But I guess, well, like, part of me is like, I can understand why maybe Mary is there, because Mary kind of, Mary if anyone deserves to watch the match between Yumiko and the president, it is Mary, especially since, you know, how Mary got, did get close to, uh, um, uh, uh, Rika. So it's like, yeah, I could see that, but is it, what the fuck is he doing here? Like, seriously. But anyways, let's keep going here. Um, when it's your turn, you can draw as many cards as you like. It's a key to figure out the best timing at which to stop drawing. So, just to be sure, this is indeed the first time you've gambled using this game, right? Right. So why am I losing so badly against you? And this chapter is titled, The Girl Who Bested Karari Momobami. And after I suggested this game too, you're too good. In fact, I can't beat anyone else in the student council. Aren't you all too talented? Huh? It's the opposite, isn't it? <laughs> Red, I love you so much. Yumiko, are you sure you should just sit here and play games? Oh, what? Why, this isn't a game. This is helping the members of the new council forge friendships with one another. Well, that's a good point, actually. Now, who's next? Um, who would like to join me in a game? I'll accept any type of gamble you offer me. Yeah, I'll pass. It'd be throwing money away. I could play along, but I don't see any point to it. Uh, you lost her, didn't you, Toronto? Um, try to get back at her. Don't push your luck, Rin. I'm sure you want to work out what um, what's in Yumiko Jabami's mind, but it's a fool's errand. If you try to approach her with any sense of reason, you'll never beat her. God, I love this panel. Really? I guess I'll pass too then. What? Uh, come on, guys. Let's be pals a little more. Wow, all these power brokers refusing to sit down with her. Um, I can see why, but... But man, I can't get over how strong a player you are. No wonder you bested Karari Momobami. Um, bested? But I haven't. Oh? Or really, our battle hasn't even begun yet. I had the table set and finally, and I finally made her sit down at it. It was hard work involving a, lot, a whole lot of people, but at last, at last I was able to gamble with Karari Momobami. Or, I should have been able to! Yeah, I know. Huh. Anyway, I'm glad we've gotten friendlier, Jabami-san. The pleasure is all mine. Companions. Yes, Yumiko did acquire a new set of companions the other day. A group that must join together to fight no matter what they think of, uh, think of each other. Karai Momobami um, has been abducted. It is up, uh, up to us to get her back. Abducted? Karari? By whom? For what purpose? And what's that have to do with this new student council? Well, I think I'll just step in to explain that. Okay, Rarika? Oh, that bitch. Great to see you all here. You, uh, you. Wow, Toronto and Rin. Long time no see, huh? Which uh, ain't exactly the case for you and me, huh, Yumiko? 
Ah, yes, I see. So that's what it is. Yep. So this is someone Yumiko knows? I gotta wonder, though, what sort of emotion is behind that expression? That is called bloodlust. That's called murderous intent. She wants to kill this bitch. This person and Yumiko, what happened between them? Uh, it's called this bitch fucked over her sister. I'd like for uh, the rest of us to be clued in, please. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm just an intermediary here, so that ain't really my job. Uh, my name is uh, Yukihime Yasha, Year 3 Flower Group. And I should have said this before, I like this outfit. This outfit is cute. Like, if you're going to do a high-waisted skirt, like, this is how you do it. I, I would totally, like, die because of the long sleeves. But this, and also, I fucking hate tights. Those are, I, I would die. Like, how, how are you... How are you not past overheating, woman? Jesus. Who? And also, I love that she looks like the devil, too. Who are you? I've never heard that name. Ah, oh, of course. I suppose someone of your level wouldn't have. To. <laughs> what a bitch! You haven't heard of the Hyako Academy Gar uh, Guardian Society? Whoa, what? Um, Guardians like our parents and, stu uh, and stuff? Um, it's not Hyako Academy's PTA, no. The Hyako Academy Guardian Society consists of graduates from the school, so kind of like an alumni, okay. Many of the um, of its members are powerful figures in politics and finance. Again, this is very much giving Kaguya-sama love is war, and I love it. Um, it's an exclusive club for the core movers and shakers of Japan. Um, wow, I didn't realize that an organization like that was around. The society's main aim is to encourage interaction among alumni. In addition, they serve as the guardians for the current student body. Karai Momobami appropriated 300 billion yen of, of uh, society managed funds for her personal aims. It was an open um, act of aggression against both the academy and the students enrolled in it. Well, it was more so an act of aggression towards just not just the academy system, but towards uh, um, the family. But 300 billion yen? Wait, so that society is where all of that money came from? Thus, the Guardian Society has declared that Karai Momobami has, must be eliminated. However, we are taking 300 billion yen, not the kind of, uh, sorry, however, we are talking 300 billion yen, not the kind of money we can write off simply by removing a single person. Thus, the society will rewrite the school charter and formally abolish the role of student council, of uh, student council president. What? What? We believe attaining that post was what drove Karai Momobami toward her despotic ways. Future school management will be assigned to, wait, sorry, but what are you talking about even? It's Karai you're rubbing out, isn't it? We don't have anything to do with that, right? <laughs> Red! Right, Yumi? Huh? Um, I guess. Huh? You always love stirring the pot, don't you? Just keep quiet and listen, Rin. We're about to get to the good part. Well, pardon me. I, Rin, I fucking love you so much. This, But he is right. He's like, what does that have to do with any of us? This does indeed have a great deal to uh, do with the new student council, uh, council members. You'll rewrite the rules to remove the president rule? If I recall, any change in student regulations requires the president's approval. That is correct. However, Karari Momobami, you shall approve of these changes. If you agree to this, our society is ready to uh, waive any right to um, hold you responsible, personally responsible for the 300 billion yen. How about it, Karari? It ain't a bad deal for you, I, I don't think. One nod and boom, 300 billion gone. Indeed, quite generous of you. Right, so yeah, if you'll sign here, but... The thing that makes gambling fun is the way you never know how it'll turn out. Huh? That is how I saw it. But over the past few weeks, I've come to see another side of it. The things I loved, the things I held so dear in my life, all of them out of nowhere, they were suddenly outlandishly torn apart. Uh, do you see? Gambling is fun precisely because of what you lose from it. So let's have a gamble. Me against you are the residents of the Guardian Society. A game where one side will lose it all. So this is a war against the Guardian Society. So it's a gamble? But if she's uh, now been abducted, I see, and that's why the seven of us are here. Oh, man, does that have to include me? <laughs> this is also silly. Dude, this is awesome. As I think you all um, realize by now, 
Guardian Society has accepted Karari Momobami's uh, request and agreed to st uh, stage a gambling match. Each side agreed to select seven players for their respective teams, who will then wage the betting match with the, uh, with each oh my god with each other. You are the seven personally selected uh, by uh, Karari Momobami, and that means you are the seven who will decide Karari Momobami's fate. Dude, this is gonna be sick. What? Like, I get it, with the exception of a couple people, these are all the most standout gamblers in Hiyako Academy. This new student council, council was selected purely for the sake of this gamble. You want us to decide Karari's fate? How very Karari-like. And I mean, in the, that in the worst way. Now I get it. So to sum up, you two are taking the place of the president, president for me? I'm sure that means you'll treat me to a truly entertaining gamble, right? I'm not sure I know what you mean. If you think this match will be a fun event, you'll be in for a, um, a shock later on. So, when is it and where? Just so happens that it is almost uh, field trip season for Hiyako Academy's student body. Traditionally, classes in Hiyako Academy go on a cruise for their field trips. That is where this will take place. The wager will be everything. <gasps> Let's begin the gamble cruise! Dude, this is going to be amazing! You know what this is going to... I wonder if this is going to be like the gamble cruise we saw in Tomodachi game. Oh my god, please tell me this is going to be like Tomodachi game. Oh my god, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, and shame on you if you don't know what I'm talking about. In Tomodachi game, one of the, um, I think it was the second portion of Tomodachi game. Uh, to get to like the uh, to uh, the third portion, which was the island. So the first portion, they were in a jail, and then they um, they went to uh, then they traveled on a cruise to an island where they, then they faced the money zombies and all that. So basically, what they did was they did this cruise and they had to gamble, um, where they did gamble their friends and all that, and. I really hope we're going to get something like that, where not only are they gambling money, but they can also use, you know, members of their team as collateral. Oh, I really hope we're going to get something like that. I do. Oh, the stakes for that game were great as well. Oh my God, please. I would love, I would live if we get something like Tamadachi game here. Oh my god, please, 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 please tell me we're going to get that here. I'll be so happy if we get that here. But I'm stoked that... But do I think this is the final art? No. I feel like, as I said with Tomodachi Game, that, um, that this is like the transition to the final art. I feel like if we're going to go the Tomodachi game route, like I think we're going, I think there will be an additional arc where, uh, cause you still have the Momobamis that you have to face. Right. So I think what will happen is after the game, after they face the guardian society, they're going to have to face uh, the Momobamis. Now the question is, will they do something like um, after, you know, the cruise because this is vacation season, as I said. Will they end up, like, on an island, like, with, uh, with Tomodachi game and have to, like, gamble and stuff, like, on various points of the island? Or will they do something similar to Tomodachi game where they have, like, a, um, like, a like a Big Brother-esque kind of game? Um, slash survi uh, Survivor kind of game? Oh, God, please. Please, if you give me that, uh, Kakiguri, where it's not like just, you know, typical gambling games or whatnot. If you give me something like Tomodachi game, not with the money zombies, I'm not talking about that. But like, if you give me something where it's like, you have like a survivor meets big brother kind of thing, specifically at the end of the final game of Tomodachi game. If I get something like that here, woo, I will live. I will so live. Because right now, the direction of Kakiguri, I'm not going to lie, just like based off of the backstory we got, is very reminiscent of what we saw, especially like how you, 
you know, Yuichi is and whatnot is very similar in a way, very similar to Tomodachi game. But man, this cruise, yeah, this is some Tomodachi game shit. And I love it. The timing of it is perfect because Tomodachi game manga just ended. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section below what you guys think of these chapters. What you guys, especially my, you know, Tomodachi game readers, what do you guys think of um, what we're going to get with this cruise? Do you guys think we will have something similar to Tomodachi game where um, not only there is, you know, money, money that's going to be bet, but yeah, there's the pet system and all that, but um, we'll have something similar. Well, a hell similar to the pet, you know, where, um, where uh, you are betting where you can bet your uh, teammates as collateral. I kind of would love to see that. I kind of would like to see like a little bit of that meets like Shokugeki no Soma kind of tease. I wouldn't mind that one bit. I feel like we're going to get a little bit of that going on. But here's where I don't think it's going to be. If it's going to be like Tomodachi game, we're going to see like, um, we'll, we'll see them roaming in groups around the ship and doing like random games. It won't be like a traditional gambling tournament like um, what we saw in, uh, say, like Shokugeki no Soma or what we've seen in like Kakiguri. No, they'll just be going in groups and just doing random shit. That's why I'm like, I feel like this is going to be like Tamadachi game in that regard. I don't think it'll be like the, um, uh, the election arc. I don't think it's going to be like that. Now, I really think this is going to be more so like... I feel like this is going to be like Tamadachi game. I really do. And I'm so here for it. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. What do you guys think about this arc? Do you, um, this upcoming arc, do you think it's going to be like Tamadachi game? Or do you think it's going to be more so traditional? I think it, as I said, I think it's going to be like Tamadachi game. And do you guys think that, um, again, like Tamadachi game, do you think this is a sign that this is like a transitional arc to, um, like maybe like a couple more arcs after this. Cause I feel like we have the Momo We obviously have to deal with the Momo bombies taking down the Momo bombies. kind of like what we saw similar to in uh, Kagi-sama love is war, but that will be, again, that will be very interesting to see if again, like Tomodachi game, if it will be something like a big brother kind of situation. I kind of hope that's going to be the case. That'll be so sick. If we get something like Tomodachi game, because that, because game was a lot like Kakiguri. It was in that regard. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep the uh, this operation alive and kick it so we can keep bringing you more Kakiguri content. New ways you can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.